I really enjoyed interviewing every single person I've written about. Um, I guess for me, uh, what's the most magical kind of interview is an interview with someone who has not been interviewed before uh, because they don't have set answers to questions and uh, they and the interview itself can be genuinely revelatory not only to you but to them because you're asking them questions like at this early point in your life why did you go here rather than there and they may never have thought about that question put quite that way before because you know, even with your most intimate friends and your family, you don't generally talk about why, why did I get, how did I get here? What am I doing in this place in my life? You talk about what you did last weekend or what you're going to do tomorrow. I don't do a profile without uh, interviewing the person. I mean, one could, of course. Um, so, for instance, the closest I came to that was Barack Obama when he was a candidate in 2007. And um, I did get a couple of 45-minute interviews. But, you know, when you interview uh, a top politician like that, um, you don't get the kind of in-depth, intimate interview that you do with an ordinary person, and nor should you. I mean, it's his job to be very careful with the press, and that's absolutely uh, correct. But um, in the case of Obama, he wrote this marvelous book, his first book, which is better than any interview. So my strategy in that case was I'm going to read the hell out of this book. I read it like five times um, and really try to get to the heart of what he's saying about his life. Um, but normally, you can't write a New Yorker profile. Ex with the exception of top politicians, no one writes a New Yorker profile without an interview.